a so three ways that you're creating not creating yourself what I mean by that is that you're not making changes around yourself and your world and it looks like that's just happening but I'm actually saying that you're creating you're not doing that so how are you creating you're not creating yourself how are you creating you're not making a difference for yourself and for your life uh, three ways number one you are eating without exercising that's a metaphor I'll explain it in a second number two you are reporting on suicides that's a metaphor I'll explain what I mean in a second and number three you're caught in the self-help paradox okay so you're eating without exercising you are uh, what's I say the second one was eating without exercising third is the caught in the self-help paradox and the middle one was reporting on suicides okay here we go let's dive in um, eating without exercising it's like you consume very protein rich food and you don't lift any weights so it's like consuming insight without taking action and the reason that actions important is because an insight can give you a feeling of euphoric perspective shift but it stays up there in the prefrontal cortex in the in the cognitive faculty of your mind and the thinking part and you can have an intellectual distinction but until it becomes an embodied part of your being it won't actually change your behavior and it will actually change how you feel automatically spontaneously as life hits you and so to take a food a protein that you put in your mouth and turn it into muscle you have to take an insight that you put into your mind and in the front of your brain that you can see and you have to make it part of you by taking action with that insight and a lot of what we talk about in creators class in the creating community are the things that you can pragmatically and practically do to turn that idea that you see a distinction with into an embodied understanding that becomes part of who you are and influences your experience and your actions in the world so without that change is just an idea now if you hear me say that and you're a little bit like bothered by it or annoyed or you feel like a little uncomfortable then let's move forward because these, that will probably mean the other two things that you're doing to create yourself not creating yourself are are active and happening and true for you so the second one is reporting on suicides so there's been some research done psychological research that when a local news agency reports on a local suicide that suicides in that area go up people hear about a suicide they get the idea in their head with their pre-existing depression or circumstances or whatever and they think that's a good idea maybe I should do that and they kill themselves and if the news reporters would see that and they would report the news differently then they might not be this repercussion of more suicides because there was a suicide so here's the thing the suicide did happen and to say it didn't would be a lie but at the same time to say it does happen actually creates more of it and the same thing happens for us so you might be describing the active state of affairs in your life and I haven't been meditating or I haven't been journaling or I haven't been taking action I haven't been doing X Y or Z I haven't been taking the actions to create myself and the evidence is there and it's true and it feels like an honest acknowledgement but actually it's not it's an exacerbation it's an entrenching of the habit your description of the state of affairs of your being in your life is actually also simultaneously an act of creation you're reporting on a genuine suicide and you're creating more suicides so what do we do do we just bullshit and lie to ourselves it's not either or it's where do you put your attention and so and, and how do you respond to that how do you meet that so if there's a suicide in a local town does the news reporter go on and say there's more suicides or does a news reporter go on and say we have a new suicide hotline a place where you can call and connect if you're considering ending your life to find support and they can take that a, a, the awareness of the suicide the awareness of the I'm not showing up I'm not taking action and instead of describing it which adds energy to it just take the awareness and allow yourself to create something new I see that and I create the opposite literally just shifting your story in that moment of awareness not acknowledging to the point like the first time you acknowledge something fine the second time you acknowledge something you're just creating more of it so stop reporting on suicide see them and then create something new what's the third way that you're creating not creating yourself it's to be caught in the self-help trap the self-help paradox and this is really unfortunate um, 
in the self-help world is that people provide a solution to growing yourself and then you show up to learn that solution coming from the perspective of I'm not enough and you think this thing out there will help me feel like I'm enough and so let me learn that and then the problem is is you can't access using that in a way to help you feel enough because you don't feel that you're doing a good enough job at using that to help yourself feel like enough so we take the I'm not enough and we apply it the self that I am is not enough and we apply it to the rate of change and the effectiveness that we feel that we have in becoming somebody who believes we're enough and so I'm not doing a good enough job at creating myself as feeling like enough I'm not growing fast enough I'm not achieving enough enough <laughs> so we have this idea that we're not enough and we look for a solution to feel enough or to do something and we experience and use the whole thing through that and that's the trap and then we can never actually close the gap because the solution that we're trying to use is actually subject to the idea itself and so how do you escape that well you have to actually live inside the paradox of I am absolutely 100% okay with how I am right now not just some bullshit story but a decision a decision, a choice. It's like, you know what? If I never change, if I continue all the patterns I've always had, I always have, that's okay. I'm okay with that. Right now, I'm okay with that here in this moment. I just been, and right now, hey, the sun's shining, I'm breathing, I'm alive. I connect with some gratitude. Just let all that go. You have to be free of judgment in a moment to be able to cultivate a pattern of non judgment in the future. And so, the way to access the ability to grow yourself is to let go of the idea that you need to and this is the trap the idea that I need to change who I am is the obstacle to pretty much all self change for people I see it all the time I see it myself it shows up I'm not moving fast enough in this I'm not changing this I'm not doing this well enough I don't really get this as well as other people do <laughs> it's like fucking slamming on the brakes pulling the e-brake up sticking your foot out the door and skidding it on the ground all at once there's no self change when you have any part of you that thinks that you're not changing fast enough or that you need to. And so letting go of it and being in a place where you are completely at peace and okay with where you are and what you are and who you are and what you have in your world, totally okay with it. Not bullshit, but really, like what do you have to do to get there? That's the foundation. And that's not a static state that will sit once you access it, like I'm just in that all the time, no. It's a place that I begin all self-creation. For me, that looks like letting go, reminding myself that I don't need to change. Whatever I accomplish is fine. I don't need to accomplish anything. And then from that spaciousness, then I begin to create. And then I report on stories of suicide hotlines and how people are killing themselves less, right? Heretically create. Speak something that you want to be true, not that you're just describing reality that's not serving you anyway. And then that is an action. That is exercise. That is protein synthesis, not of the muscle, but of the neurological and heart muscle. Today is the perfect day for you to create who you are. In fact, being a part of the creating community, being a member of Creators Class and watching every class every month, coming and practicing the insights like, like we're talking about here, this is the perfect way for you to create mastery in self-creation and mastery in self-creation is the most important thing why so many people consume self-help information knowledge go on courses listen to audios read books and they have hopes for change but not that much changes they hire coaches with high hopes for change and they get a little bit of change but not as much as they'd hope for this is what creating and self-creation is all about it is literally the ultimate leverage as you develop your capacity to create yourself all of that content in the entire world for the rest of your life becomes so much more valuable to you because you know you have removed limitations that allow you to actually turn that information into genuine transformation there's lots of good and great information out there but if you have a perspective that limits your capacity to access it and change yourself then it's not that valuable to you and this video today especially but the creating perspective overall is really about giving you access to the capacity your innate natural capacity that you have to grow and so being here and being committed to creating 
yourself as a master of self-creation is the ultimate leverage. The return on investment for this is immeasurable. You can't even fathom all the places it will impact you and th throughout the rest of your life because you don't know what's coming. But whatever it comes, every person you meet becomes your coach, becomes your teacher, and you create so much more from that than you otherwise would. And this is why I am so happy that you're here. I am loving you for being here. And I look forward to continuing to support you in becoming a master of self-creation. I'm John Patrick Morgan, and I will talk to you soon. See you guys.